What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation running iOS 6.1. Now this will be a tethered jailbreak, which means every single time you reboot your device, so if you turn it off and then turn it back on, Cydia, anything you download from Cydia, Mail and Safari will not work until you plug your device back into your computer and rerun something called just boot mode. Of course, I will show you how to do this at the end of the video. I just wanted to let you guys know what that before would be in this process. And the untethered jailbreak, which is of course the normal jailbreak, which will work for all the iOS devices, and you'll be, you will be able to reboot and use your jailbreak and Mail and Safari, is on its way. It will probably arrive this Sunday, but we're not sure. So of course, just stay tuned to this channel and of course I'll let you guys know when the untethered jailbreak is available but as of right now this is a tethered jailbreak and let's begin one you will need to download two things to your computer the first one will be Red Snow 0.9.15 beta 3 and the second one will be your iOS 6.0 firmware file for whichever your device is now we are running 6.1 but we're going to be using the 6.0 IPSW and of course make sure your device is on iOS 6.1 before proceeding and you can check by going into settings general about and as you can see right there, version, I am on 6.1, and just make sure that you are on 6.1. And plug in your device to your computer through the USB, and then open up Red Snow. And inside the folder, you will get these options here. You want to right click on the last option right there, Red Snow, and select Run as Administrator. And then you want to click Yes. And in Red Snow, we're going to select the Extras button, select IPSW, and we're going to go to wherever you have your iOS 6.0 IPSW file saved for your device. Here it is, 6.0. Again, we're on 6.1, but we're selecting the 6.0 IPSW that you downloaded from the link down below in the description. Click Open, OK, and then we're going to click Back, and then you're going to select Jailbreak. And just give this a second to prepare itself. And once you guys are at this screen, all you want to have checked is install Cydia. And if you guys do have an iPod Touch, you can enable battery percentage. But most importantly, of course, make sure install Cydia is checked. Then we're going to click Next. And then you guys want to power off your device. So hold down the power button on your device and slide to power off. And once your device is off, you want to click Next on Red Snow right here. And then you're going to be putting your device into something called DFU mode. Now Red Snow will give you instructions, so just click Next. It's pretty simple. Just hold the power button for 3 seconds, combined with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds. And release the power button and continue holding the home button until Red Snow says it's identifying your device. Once you get the blue loading bars and it says it's processing, you can release the home button. And just letting you guys know, when it says moving applications on your device just like this, this process can take about five minutes, so just be patient. And once your device reboots, power it off, so hold down the power button and slide to power off. And once your device is off again, we're going to select back on Red Snow, and then we're going to select IPSW again. And again, just select the iOS 6.0 IPSW that you downloaded, click open, OK. And now at the top, we're going to select just boot tethered right now, so click that. And then we're going to click next, and we're going to put our device into DFU mode, so click next. And again, it's the same steps, hold the power button for three seconds, combined with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds, and release the power button and continue holding the home button until Red Snow says it's identifying your device. And, and again, once you get the blue loading bars and it says it's processing, you can release the home button. Okay, so once your device restarts this time, you can slide to unlock, and you will now see City on your home screen. Feel free to open it up, and inside you want to select user, and then press done. And there we go, we're now jailbroken on iOS 6.1. Alright, now as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is a tethered jailbreak, which means every single time you turn off your device in order to get Cydia, anything you download from Cydia, mail, and Safari to work after you restart your device, 
we'll need to plug it back in and rerun something on Red Snow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot this iPhone and show you guys what happened. So I'm just going to hold down the power button and slide to power off. Okay, and now that it's off, I'm just going to power it back on. Okay, and now that it's rebooted, I'm just going to slide to unlock. And as you can see, when I try to open Cydia, it just closes, as you can see. And that's the same thing with Mail and Safari. And neither of these will work. And, of course, anything you download from Cydia will also not work. And what I'm about to show you is what you're going to need to do every single time you turn off your device and then turn it back on in order to get Cydia, anything you download from Cydia, Mail and Safari to work. So you will need to plug your device back into your computer, open up Red Snow again. So go in Red Snow. And then, of course, right-click on the last option, run as administrator, just like the first time. Select yes. And then inside, we're going to go into extras, select IPSW, then select the 6.0 IPSW. Click on it, click open, OK. And then you're going to select just boot tethered right now at the top. Click that. And then you're going to power off your device, of course. So hold down the power button and power off your device. And once your device is off, click Next on Red Snow, and you're going to be putting it into DFU mode again. So click Next, hold the power button for 3, 2, 1 seconds, combine with the home button for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 seconds, and release the power button and continue holding the home button until your device is recognized by Red Snow. All right, and again, once you get the blue loading bar, you can release the home button. Okay, so once your device restarts, you can slide to unlock, and now when we open Cydia, it will be completely functional, because again, we did do the reboot. In order to get Cydia, anything you download from Cydia, mail and Safari to work, after you restart your device, you'll need to go back into Red Snow and repeat that last step. So thank you for watching this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave me a comment down below, and I will reply as soon as I can. And the untethered jailbreak is coming really soon, hopefully this Sunday, and of course I'll keep you guys updated on that, and when it does come out, I will release a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.